Assalamu alaikum. Oops, I went live before I adjusted my camera. I didn't even mean to go live so quickly. <laughs> That's okay. We are here. All right. People, how are you? Today is Thursday, my people. All right, let's get our Instagram people here because I got a challenge for you. All right? I'm going to get our Insta people. We got to ask our other fam to join us because we have a detox challenge. I am going to challenge you this weekend. All right? How are you guys doing, my Facebook people? All right, I think I have. There we go. We gotta get our Instagram cousins up here. We gotta get our Insta people. What's up, Insta people? I also need to um, make sure that I can see you guys and see your comments and stuff. All right. Our Insta cousins is with us now. Welcome, Insta cousins. Salam alaikum, everybody. So today. I am going to give you a weekend challenge. This is for everybody who's having a hard time detoxing off of sugar. This is for if you have someone in your house that has been uh, resistant um, for giving up the sugar. So I am going to talk to you a little bit about why we need to do it and what the challenge is this weekend. So. Give me salams, give me a hello, tell me where you are joining me from so that we can get started. I want to make sure I can see my comments. Ooh, can I see my comments? Yes, so I can comment, I can see my comments, I think so. I gotta move my Insta people over. So, we have a weekend challenge. I gotta give it to you right now on Thursday because the next time I talk to you will be Monday. So I want to make sure that you, um, uh, nope, nope. I want to make sure. Waalaikum salam, sana. Hello, Saifi from Ethiopia and Nifa. Waalaikum salam, Chelsea, salams. Okay. Who needs to cut the sugar out? Hello, Rowan on Instagram. Chelsea in NYC. Hey, you're right down the road from me. I'm in Connecticut. New York is like 45 minutes. How you doing? One day when all of the Rona decides to leave, we can get together and we can resume our regular in-person annual events. I cannot wait. I'm getting about tired of Rona right now. Waalaikum salam, Jack from Boston, and Nisa from Seattle, Washington, Sedi from Atlanta. I am good today. You know I'm in a good mood when I wear my colors, when I have all my colors on. I love colors. They make me feel good. They make me give me energy. So when I wake up and I want to feel hype and pump, I'm like, how many different colors can I put on? <laughs> And <laughs> my Las Vegas uh, hoodie is the most colorful thing that I have. And it's all my favorite colors, too. So, I love it. Um, I am getting ready to talk about sugar and all the things that sugar does to our bodies that we want it not to do. But in order for it not to do that, we have to cut it out. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what I mean about sugar. So I'm going to give a disclaimer. Oh, before I get started, if you are joining me for the first time, my name is Mubaraka Ibrahim and I am a health and happiness coach. And if you believe that physical, mental, and spiritual well-being is intertwined and the weakness of one weakens them all and the strengthening of one strengthens them all, then welcome, you have found your tribe. We talk about food, faith, and fitness here on Fit Muslim, my profile, and I am talking about sugar today, and I am going to give you a sugar detox challenge. So, 
who is this challenge for? This challenge is for people who know that they are addicted to sugar. You know who you are, you know who you are, and you know who your friends are, so go ahead and tag them so that they can get in on this channel challenge, right? This is for people who say things like, I just can't give up bread. I must have my pasta. I have to eat my rice. All of those turn to sugar in your bloodstream, and that means you too are addicted to sugar. So, what are some of the signs of your body that you're addicted to sugar? You crave sugar. Like, even when you try to not crave it, you crave it. When you tried the last time to detox off of sugar, you stop eating candy and you start eating bananas and oranges and watermelon, as much sweet fruits as you could get your hands on. Because you thought, well, if it's natural sugar, then it's okay. Not really, my dear. We'll get to that. The other thing that you know when you are addicted to sugar, you actually have an addiction much like people are addicted to coffee. When you don't have it, you might get a headache. You might start feeling extremely fatigued. Some people actually start feeling symptoms like they have the flu simply because they didn't get their sugar fix. Sugar is not just an addiction of our bodies, but it's also an addiction of your brain. Not a mental addiction, like I'm not saying like you're mentally deranged if you're addicted to sugar. <laughs> We're not talking about mental health. We're talking about literally your brain. <laughs> your brain gets a huge dopamine influx when you eat sugar. And that's why it tastes so good. So I do not deny that sugar is delicious. Things with sugar in it makes it taste better. And it tastes better to us because our brain is like, oh yeah, it's a sugar party. Oh yeah, it's a sugar party. That's what happens when that dopamine hits. We know those research studies that tells us that sugar is just as addictive as cocaine. Nobody would say, I just have, well, that's not true. There are people that say that. I just have to have a hit of cocaine. <laughs> there are people. It should not be. Um, I did something really silly. Give me a break. Give me a minute, y'all, because I actually forgot to plug my computer in, and I don't want to lose my face with people. I don't want my computer to die. All right, we're good. Had to plug it in. All right, so those are some of the signs that you may be addicted to sugar. All right? I certainly recommend that you just cut it out cold turkey. If you get a headache, do it on a weekend when you don't have nothing to do because generally your symptoms will probably be the most pronounced on days one to three. And then they will start to get less and less. But if you're not there yet, we want to work with everybody from where they are. If you're not there yet, I am going to give you a challenge, all right? So, over the weekend, I am going to, I'm not going to ask you to cut out all sugar. I am going to ask you to actually limit yourself only to the amount that the CDC recommends. Hmm. That in itself um, oh, my Insta people. Okay, I got my Insta people back. All right, sorry, Insta people. I think I, um, I think I, you couldn't hear me on a long part or the first part, or it was muffled, but I fixed it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so what I want you to do over the weekend. Right? So this challenge not for my clients, everybody there who's watching me, who's in my program, because we already eliminate sugar. That is a part of the program. That is a part of the 40-day challenge that sugar is eliminated on our burn belly fat challenge. But this is for the people who are having a really hard time making this transition because this is an important transition that you need to make to improve your health because what we know about sugar is that 
When you take in as little as 100 grams of sugar, and that's not a lot, right? A muffin is 55 grams. A muffin at Dunkin' Donuts, 55 grams of carbs, right? Most of it is sugar. When you take in as little as 100 grams, research shows that it lowers your immune system for up to five hours. That is not something to take lightly. We are in a pandemic, and we know that, geez, immune health is super important. Not only will it help prevent you from getting sick, but it also will minimize how, how um, severe the illness is. So having a healthy immune system is more important now than ever, all right? The, here are some of the things that you may not think about when you think about sugar. When you're eating sugar, sugar can actually cause you to have non-alcoholic fatty liver. What does that mean? That means that you actually develop additional fat in your liver. And when you develop too much fat in your liver, it causes inflammation and it even causes scarring of the liver, which eventually will lead to parts of your liver blood supply being cut off. And we're more familiar with this happening for people who drink alcohol and it becomes uh, cirrhosis, right? So what happens when we do that is we need to cut the sugar out so that our liver does not become permanently damaged. That's one thing. Another thing that sugar does, it, it lowers the immune system, it actually causes fatty liver. It actually is the promotion of the reason or the start of the reason why people get um, high cholesterol, right? So when sugar enters into your system, it literally scars and makes very little scars on your arteries. When you take in fat after that, your body is actually trying to heal the scars from the sugar and it coats it with the cholesterol. So they say a good analogy is blaming fat for high cholesterol is sort of like blaming the fireman for coming to put out the fire. The high cholesterol you get is really your body's attempt of trying to heal itself from the excess sugar inside of your system. So that's another way in which sugar unexpectedly affects our health. The third way, maybe a little superficial, but it ain't that superficial. It actually ages your skin. It makes you look older. Sugar literally attaches itself to molecules and it prevents collagen and elastin in your skin to actually develop and it damages what you have. So if you're looking to improve skin, trying to prevent grow, getting all of the crow's feet and the lines and it, sugar has to be cut out, all right? Super, super important, all right. So what are we doing in this challenge? Again, I'm talking to my beginner ladies, right? I'm talking to my beginners. We're talking to people who are like, mm, I don't know if I want to cut sugar out. You know, it's addictive. If I don't have my candy bar every morning, if I don't put five tablespoons of honey in my tea or five tablespoons of sugar in my coffee. I'm going to get a headache. I'm not going to feel well. This is what we're talking about. These are the people that need to do this challenge. All right. So we talked about the other day how the CDC actually rejected the claim, the, the request of doctors and research to lower the amount of sugar that U.S. adults should eat a day. So we're going to go with the recommendation. You should actually eat less than this, but let's go with the recommendation. So the recommendation is that the average adult should not have more than 100 calories per day from added sugar. I'm going to define that for you. And this is specifically for this challenge, right? No more than 100 grams a day of added sugar. That means that's about uh, six teaspoons for 
uh, a woman and about nine teaspoons for a man. All right. What is added sugar? For this particular challenge, this is good, doesn't go for all challenges. Goes for this particular challenge over the weekend. That means today is Thursday. I want you to start counting your grams today. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I want you to tell me how you did it on Monday when I come back live. So you got four days. All right? You got four days to do this. Okay? Now, 100 grams or 100 calories, I'm sorry, not 100 grams, 100 calories, which is about 6 teaspoons of sugar, 24 grams of sugar. What does that look like? Hmm. That's per day. Now, keep in mind, the average American woman eats five times as much sugar than the recommended amount every day. How do we do that? We do that because sugar and sweeteners are put inside of everything we eat. Like I said, it makes things taste better. So they're like, you know what? We're going to take out the fat that's going to fill her up, but we're going to add a whole bunch of sugar. That way she thinks she's full until an hour later. <laughs> that's really what happens when they change our food system. So definition of added sugar. That means anything that... They are, that's processed, that is made, that is baked, that is put together, and sugar is added to it. On the back of the container, there is actually a nutrition category that says added sugar. So, clarify, we are not counting carbohydrates, we are counting only added sugar. So everything that you put in your mouth, you have to look at what is the added sugar. But let me give you some warnings. There are places that sugar hide that you have to be super careful of. All right? So if you are trying to limit your sugar intake, and we are limiting, remember, to 24 grams of sugar. That includes honey. That includes high fructose corn syrup, that includes sucrose, that includes dextrose, any of the oses, all of that. No honey. If it occurs naturally, for this challenge only, if it occurs naturally inside of a fruit, then we're not counting that. We're only counted added sugar. This is a baby step for people who need baby steps. Places that you need to be conscious of. You need to look at the back of salad dressings. And everybody's trying to eat healthy. They want to go eat a salad. I have a whole philosophy around that, but that's a side note. Look at your salad dressing. Salad dressings can have as much as 5 to 15 grams of added sugar. So you have to be really careful. French dressing, Thousand Island dressing, anything like that. All of those things have added sugar to it. Honey has 17 grams per tablespoon. So if you're literally putting two tablespoons in honey in your tea throughout the day, you are exceeding the amount of sugar, added sweetener, sugar that you should have in a day. Because you're adding it to it. Your um, regular teaspoon of sugar has 4.2 grams, all right? Look at bread. Slices of bread have added sugar in it. Pasta sauce. Pasta sauce has as much as 13 to 15 grams per serving. That's not per jar. A serving of pasta sauce is normally about a quarter of a cup, 13 grams of sugar. That is the equivalent of three teaspoons of sugar every time you top your pasta. Okay? So, and stay away from things, I'm just going to tell you, stay away from things like yogurt, right? And not, not Greek yogurt, but plain yogurt, particularly the flavored. 
Some of them has as much as 40 grams of sugar. Look at the back of them. Don't believe me? Go to the store. I wish I had one to show you. Maybe I'll grab some over the weekend. All of these things I don't actually have in my house. Well, we do have honey because my husband eats honey. But I don't have them in my house. But I can go and get them. And Monday, we're going to actually look at the nutrition labels. All right? Over the weekend, look at the nutrition labels. And don't be fooled by things like vitamin water. Did you know vitamin water has as much added sugar as a soda? 32 grams for 120 calories. That is a lot of sugar for a, a water that's supposed to be healthy. You want to make sure that you are being really conscious of added sugar to your diet. Look at... Uh, low fat yogurt, anything that says low fat is going to have added sugar to it. And here's another challenge. So at, if you go to the store this weekend or if you go online and shop, however you're shopping in this pandemic, I want you to look at the difference in just the added sugar in any product that gives you a low fat version. So if you have French dressing and you have a regular version and then you have a low fat version, I guarantee you that when they took the fat out, they added sugar and salt. So anything that's low fat is going to be higher in sugar than the original version of that food. So make sure that you're super conscious of that. Uh, be conscious of doing things like eating muffins that we think, oh, when I go to Dunkin' Donuts, if I get... Um, whole grain muffin, then it's going to be much healthier. Mm, not really. Dunkin' Donuts have some delicious muffins. They really do. That's because they put a bunch of sugar in it. As much as 47 grams. That's literally drinking a soda. Like if you just took the sugar out of a soda and you took the sugar out of a muffin, it would be equivalent to one another. Even raw honey. It's sugar. It is one of the highest foods on the glycemic index, right? If you are battling a sugar addiction, you need to cut it out. If you have prediabetes, diabetes, PCOS, or any other metabolic syndrome, cut it out, right? Super, super important. So that is your challenge for this weekend. And I'm going to repeat this, all right? So, I want to make sure I repeat it. Your goal over the weekend is to make sure that you are limiting the amount of added sugar to your diet. And you're counting it on a daily basis. We are going with the United States government recommended amount. I got issues with that, but we're going to do it for y'all just to start out. Just to start out, we're just going to do it, okay? All right? Just going to do it for now. No more than six teaspoons or 24 grams of sugar per day for a female or nine teaspoons and 36 grams of sugar for a man. That is your limitation. Sugar is defined as... Any additional sweetener added to a food or beverage. It does not include, for you beginners, it does not include fruit. For now, we'll take it one step at a time. We're going to eventually, like, discern between that. But for now, but y'all will want to take it as a baby step. I want you to do that for me over the weekend. And Monday, make sure that you meet me here at 11.30 a.m. so that you can tell me what. Nope, that's not true. I am going to give you until Tuesday. And this is why. Because Monday, I have a really special live. We are all, I figured I'd bring you in on my family joy. I'm going to bring you in. We are all going to watch my husband announce his campaign on Monday at 12 noon. So I don't want to be rushing you guys or anything like that. Super excited. He's running for city alder, which is like a councilman is what other people uh, refer to it as. And so we're super excited. So 
we're going to check in on a challenge on Tuesday. And I want to see how you do. It's good to do this kind of challenge over the weekend. Um, because when you do it over the weekend, hopefully over the weekend, you'll have a little bit less things to do. And so if you do happen to get a headache, yes, you can have some Tylenol or whatever headache medicine that you take. Try to drink lots of water if you get a headache. Lay down and take a nap. Do other things, but it's okay. I'm not asking you to change anything else about your diet. Um, I'm just asking you just to do this, limiting your sugar to 24 grams of added sugar a day. All right? So that is your challenge for this weekend. Oh, quick note, you know my philosophy on juice by now. No juice. Juice is equivalent to soda. No juice. I don't care if you got a $1,000 juicer and you've ordered some fruits from an African farm and you are getting them delivered and you planned on juicing them, nope, don't do it, don't do it, okay? All right, until next week, enjoy your weekend, I'll be around, I won't be live, but I'll be around, all right? So I want to go, talk to you guys soon. Hey.